Hello, welcome to the Mario Kart Wii playthrough. It's Flame as well with Harry. I'm Chris. And I'm Stephen. Yeah, and we're, I've basically recorded all of the eight cups on 100cc, so let's see how well this playthrough goes down. <laughs> Stephen's seen me play Mario Kart before. This could be interesting. Bowser start off with him because he's normally my main character. What about you guys? So, so who do you normally use most? Have you got most? Uh, uh, Waluigi. Waluigi. <laughs> I like Waluigi. Yeah. And I've never really played very hard yes. much. Uh, but I don't know. You've played on Game Boy. That's yeah, better. Game Boy is the one Mario Kart I haven't actually played and I keep meaning to getting around to playing it at some point. Uh, yeah. I like this first track because every Mario Kart game opens with a Luigi circuit track, as far as I know. And it's really easy. <laughs> well, yeah. And I love that power up. <laughs> Literally, I've just gone from about 10th to 1st. And yeah. Why do you always pick Bowser, by the way? Just out of interest. He's just probably my favourite character from the Mario universe. And in this game, I prefer using heavy characters. Yeah. Because I just find them a lot easier to handle, and I don't know if there's any reason to that or well, not. Well, the heavy characters, they have the fastest carts, and they have the best drift, I think. It might do, actually, because I know there's some... Throughout this playthrough, although I normally use Bowser all the time, throughout, for the sake of recording, I've used a different character and car in each part. So, we'll see later on now, I... I'm terrible with using both light characters and bikes. I think that technically the best vehicle in this game has to be the Bowser bike. I mean, you get it straight away and it's just so damn fast. Yeah, hang on, sorry a sec, but this is, when people take Mario Kart seriously as a racing game, what just happened wouldn't happen in a serious racing game. What, a, a blue shell? Blue shell followed by a red shell followed by an ink slodge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's fair game, thank you. <laughs> but yeah. And I will say, as you saw probably earlier on in the like, setting up the game screen, that I haven't unlocked everything on this save file, and that's purely because I'm trying to recall from my Wii U, and Nintendo decided to be really difficult when letting you transfer content from the Wii to the Wii U. So I found it easy just to start a new save file, but that means I haven't got everything unlocked. So I've got about half the game unlocked. <laughs> I came first. Bizarre. <laughs> My god, that's quite an achievement for you to come first on the first track. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait till later on, we've got some good ones coming up. <laughs> well, we'll say now, though, for the sake of anyone worried about upcoming quality and that, I do get on the podium at least for each cup. <laughs> so I'm at least third on every time. I quite like this track. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It's like it's What's it called? Moon Moon Meadows. I'm glad you read that because I didn't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of like the general design of it though. From a visual standpoint, it's not really one that's that memorable other than the random cows that start walking across yeah. the track in the later laps. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> and that's another thing the art style I find in this game. There's quite a few different things going on. Like there's this level that's got the very N64 kind of like look to it, just like polished up. Whereas there's other ones that, there's that beach level that's remade from the DS one that reminds me of Wind Waker. Do you get that? Oh, well, we'll get that. Also, I love how they, they look like absolute silhouettes when they've been inked. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, when you play this, you normally use the Wii rule, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I tried doing that. It did uh, work. <laughs> oh, right. yeah. I find it really easy <laughs> with flying uh, cows. Oh, well, that was Donkey Kong. It looked like a flying cow. I find it really easy with the steering wheel. <laughs> yeah, I did when I first played it, but over time I've kind of reverted to using natural controllers. Uh, in this playthrough, I'm using the classic controller, which is just the one that plugs into the bottom of the Wii mode. Screw you, out my way. <laughs> yes, yeah, invincibility, it's like the better version of the giant mushroom. <laughs> yeah, the giant mushroom's actually pretty fun when you get yeah, it though. Yeah, because you can flatten the enemies. <laughs> I've never even heard of the giant mushroom, man. Oh, it's 
it wasn't in any of the games before this, I think, because the right. power up itself was like, like it was introduced in Use of Mario Brothers on the DS, and that was like, oh right, yeah, I think that came out not long before this, so it, it was kind of a, a typical plug of the current game. But yeah, oh, I came first again. Sit on Harry, you'll get a fucking streak on there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the auto play itself there, I've always find it funny when it gets hit by a weapon after you've finished. And I don't yeah. know why. It's this level. Ah, oh, Mushroom Gorge. I like this level. Yeah, it's quite an interesting gimmick. I'll skip it that. Why do you always speed ahead of me? <laughs> because I get the boost at the beginning. I don't get that once in this playthrough. Just a heads up. Because <laughs> you need to press the acceleration button round about when the number two is gonna mm. go. Is it two? I always thought it was one. That explains no. a lot. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. I nearly died. <laughs> no one can ever hit anything with them shells. Yeah. Like, ever. <laughs> Plus, um, the power block. Oh, that's. That's quite fun when you're flying and you see everyone else get hit by it. Yeah, but there is a way of actually getting out of that. It's well, like, that it, it can hit you, but if you flick the Wiimote up at the right moment, during the first, just as it's about to hit you properly, you will spin, but you'll keep going at full speed. Alright, what's that equate to on a controller? <laughs> is that like your kind of jump button thing? No, just flick the... Like when you're on the bikes on this, you Oh, on your wheelie the... button. Oh, well, on the controller, that's just pressing something on the D-pad. Oh, right. And it's actually quite fun when you do your jump. You've probably seen me do it a couple of times here, but... Each direction on the D-pad gives you a different trick. Mm. Like, you can see I'm jumping over mushrooms here, doing different pose each time. And that's quite frustrating, them Goombas walking there, because... From a distance, they look like the speed up mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. Oh crap. <coughs> Gotta love the physics in this game. That's why you should always have three bananas behind you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Woo. That's actually pretty useful until you get a different power up that you want to use. And you kind of yeah. got to drop them all a bit quick. But it's quite fun when you've got like a thin area and you dump like three bananas in a row and you know everyone behind you is screwed. <laughs> yeah. But when does that ever happen? <laughs> it happens a couple of times in this playthrough, actually. I can't remember exactly where, but I know it's happened. The worst place for that to happen? Yeah. <laughs> I think I got lucky there. Oh god, exciting blooper. <laughs> yeah, excited blooper. I don't find the ink as frustrating. It's not really the ink didn't that even do anything to see past <laughs> it. it. It's a lot less, uh, it's a lot more of a threat here than it is on the DS one. Because the DS one, it, it's quite funny actually, the ink only covers the top screen and not yeah, the map and you on can the look bottom. In the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what happened when I first played that, I was just like, oh, ink on the top screen. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> screw you, power up, I can still win. <laughs> yeah. This level's one of them that it either goes really well or really badly. <laughs> because, like, you have to kind of go at the right place on so many parts of it. Like the crusher sections and the speed up pads. And yeah. How do you get the boost by the way? I haven't played Mario Kart in like, years. Uh, what, the item boost? Um, you know when you start off, you press like yeah, A. Right, yeah. Just a moment ago, it's like when it gets to 2, you press the accelerate button, then you have to press the exact moment, like a point yeah. in between when it's oh, right. got, yeah. when it's there and uh, when it's about yeah. to go. Oh, so this mushroom, uh, so this cloud, thunder cloud thing that Mario's just gone past with, that is a bugger. Yeah. Because you have to exactly. crash into someone else to pass it on to them, otherwise you get zapped. But it can be helpful at times, as it can allow you to go across mud and that without being slowed down. Yeah, but that <laughs> really game, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for that game, that was really helpful. In this part you have to kind of plan ahead of where you're going because that brown mud there slows you down if you've not got a boost guy. Which is mm, useful. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no, 
This has kind of been a turn of events. <laughs> <laughs> this crusher selection always makes me nervous because normally when it's at that distance you can get through. But not always. If I bullet build. Oh, you got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love the bullet build power up when I've got it. <laughs> but, but when I haven't got it, I'll screw you. <laughs> Things like the time of its usage varies whatever place you're in. So it's like if you're in fifth, it'll last for a shorter amount of time yeah. than it would say like you were in 12. Yeah and as with I think every other Mario game except I'm not sure about the Super Nintendo one, the, the power-ups that it gives you depends on what place you're in. Yeah. So like you get the better power-ups like the blue shell and the uh, bullet bill if you're further back whereas if you're winning you get crappy stuff like the single mushrooms and bananas. Because it's expecting you to be more strategic yeah. in a driving game. <laughs> Strategy in Mario Kart. Have you just thought about what you've just said, Stephen? <laughs> <laughs> I know what I said. Yeah. Final lap and 12th. But yeah. really, the only strategy you need when you're in first is hold banana skins behind you. Yeah. <laughs> or just drop them because you're bored of carrying the weapon, which yeah. I do, and then later regret. <laughs> oh, I'm second again. Thanks for that. Uh, infinite Mario. Oh. Yeah, baby yeah. Mario front The yeah. fake item box is probably no, Mario, the yeah. most pointless yeah. item. Yeah, it was okay in 64 because it used the exact same uh, image as the normal one, but ever since then they've made it red so you can tell it apart yeah. from a while off. Uh, yeah, so I like, don't get that. From a distance it blends in, but once you get up close it's like, oh, well. Am I going to lose this awesome like, podium place? Should I go check? <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, this isn't going well, is it? I think you've lost these. Screw you. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, that wasn't a complete failure, is so. <laughs> Yeah. Now we've got the closing ceremony video, which it plays in every single time. So, yeah. We... It's not. This is it's an interesting little animation, I suppose, but I kind of wish they'd made a different one for each cup. Yeah. Because otherwise it, it's just you're watching the same scene over and over again. But fortunately you can skip it. You can, but this is a like, playthrough recording, so I'm not going to. Uh. <laughs> I'd skipped out one of the credits, though. <laughs> There's two <laughs> credit scenes, I'm only showing one. I like uh, dry bones. Yeah. <laughs> Bowser just standing peacefully next to Mario, ignoring the time when yeah. he threw him into a lava pit. <laughs> Good to breathe fire on him. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Incinerate him. Yeah. But I'm going to kidnap your girlfriend next week, so don't <laughs> worry. 